Right, it's part two. This is where we left off last time. And the two halves are sort of connected, but this centerpiece will connect them all together completely. This is going to be a little bit trickier, I think. Going from the well, it doesn't. It will start from the back, but I'm going to start bending it from right round under the chin. It's got to fit in here, right the way around the nose. And then this fork will go up and back around the cheeks. This was the piece that came in three parts that I joined together. This one, I'm not sure whether it's got to be twisted as well as bent round to go under there. Um, that will become apparent as I go, I think. So I'll start bending it. Right, this point here, you can see where I've got my finger, is sort of going to be my reference point for this. That's where that's got to go. So that's what I'm going to use as my sort of marker for the time being. And then hopefully everything else will follow through. So, let's see if we can start putting a bit of shape in it. I'm just going to use the rubber mallet over the edge of the anvil. See how damp it's been around here. I haven't used the anvil for a couple of days and it's gone rusty. It's uh, We've had nothing but rain for the last couple of weeks. And it's been quite humid as well, or sort of warm. So we've had that nasty dampness in the air. Right, I'm just trying to think whereabouts that needs to be quite a sharp bend. And I think it's about there. Just looking back across the workshop. Let's have a look at that. I think it's going to be need a bit more fiddling about. Alright, well I've fiddled about and I've started to put the nose bit in as well, but that's all just done by sort of eye um, and bending it by f with my fingers um, because where it's thin there it's really easy to bend with your fingers. And one of the hardest parts is holding this damn thing still. You can see there it's sort of about right, but it's not quite right there, so we're going to be right around here by the nose. That's going to be a little bit harder to bend my hand. But what I'm trying to do is just sort of find where there are positive points that you can't mistake, like at the end of the nostril there or the top of the nostril, um, where it's got to go. And then you can put a little chalk mark or a pencil mark or a sharpie mark and then just give it a bit of a tweak and keep trying it. That's all I'm doing. As I say, trying to hold the damn thing still on the bench and try your, your pieces on. It's quite tricky. It might even pay to put a little tack on it and tack it to the bench. But then of course you're bound to want to look at the bit sort of somewhere you can't see. You're going to have to untack it again. Anyway, we're sort of you can get the idea of what I'm doing. I'm sort of trying to, to sort of get a reference as to where it's got to bend. And then literally doing it by hand. And that's sort of, you know, the head shape ish. So I think if I can use these couple of magnets to keep it sort of still while I start tacking. <laughs> this really is quite fiddly but uh, it's you see there there's, it's way out that's got to come really a long way in at the back there. I think I need to have uh, done quite a few more hammerings there, that big wide bit at the top. I really think that needs to have been hammered in. Right, so I've started. I've literally 
put it in where it's touching and then put this clamp on and pulled it in and then I'm just pulling it back out if it's gone in a little bit too far with a tiddly little screwdriver and basically that's what I'm going to continue to do is sort of where I can get a clamp on it I will and if I can't get a clamp on it it's going to have to be a big hammer and perhaps a lump of wood you see you can squeeze it up just about get it right but then the whole thing's about to fall over it's really quite tricky so it's do a bit of left handed tacking here. Like I said earlier, if you're into sheet metal work, you probably either have all the tools or techniques, certainly, for doing all this. As usual, I'm uh, winging it. I do like you to see me struggle. But it's a learning curve, that's the whole point of these videos really. We're all learning. Hopefully, we'll all get something out of it. Alright, I'm not sure what I need next. Big hammer. I still haven't found my other hammer, which is heavier and sort of harder. This is really quite a soft mallet. I really could do with a harder mallet. I don't know where it's gone. Once I've got all this completed, I'll find it lying on the floor somewhere. You see that top bit there is sort of kinked. Right, I found my other clamp, my good old carver. And that's pulled it in much more successfully. I get a few more tacks on it. And a bit more hammering. I dare say if you've done a few of these, obviously you know how much to bend things in the first place before you even start putting it together. Like, I had no idea that that neck piece needed to be much straighter and narrower. But now I've done one, I do. So when I, I'm making the two individual side pieces, I'll make sure that that's a lot straighter hopefully it will go together a bit better. I did get two of these cut. The idea was I was going to make one and then make another one for the video and you know I'd look extremely professional at it. But I didn't think that was fair. So anyway I've speeded this little bit up a bit because it, it drags on a little bit and it I don't want to speed it up too much because I want you to see exactly what I'm doing or try and see what I'm doing but it does get a little bit laborious now those gaps at the front there again I'm not sure if I should have put more shape into those sort of nose pieces big long nose pieces or whether it's my pattern was wrong I can't quite figure out how to get a clamp on there so I think it's going to be a lot of hammering. They really need to come in a lot more. As I say, I um, decided against doing one first and then acting as if I was good at it. All right, there you go, you can see I've hammered and banged and pushed and that's about as close as I can get these gaps. It's no real biggie with this steel, you can fill in a gap that big quite easily but you know if I could have got something up underneath and, and given it a good old hammer and put some more shape into those sides it may have come better but anyway that's as, about as good as I can get now. So now it's just a case of pushing the nose around. I think I would have been better off getting a little bit more shape in that before getting this far. I I sort of put a basic shape in. I think I should have been a little bit more precise. 
I was thinking that it would be a lot easier to to pull round than it is. Let's just uh, there you go. It's coming round now. But what you got to do is tack from where you want it to bend. Don't uh, hit it until you've got it tacked at the top of where it's got to bend from. See those nostril pieces have got to come in there and attach to the side of that nose and yet that middle piece has got to go down in between them so we've got to get a bit of shape in there as well but we're sort of getting there the nose is coming reasonably well now that right hand side as you're looking at it is better than the left at the moment but uh, we'll push and pull and a couple of big screwdrivers like this is quite handy for pulling things out when they've gone a bit too far in. And it's a sort of question of which bit to tack next. And so that right hand side as you're looking at it is the better fit at the moment. Right. So it's now the left hand side as you're looking at it. We'll see if we can get that bit tacked up and go a bit further under the chin. So I'm just going to go and have a quick cup of tea, I think. Right, I've had a cup of tea, refreshed myself. We've got a little bit sped up again because, again, this is quite a long clip, this next bit. Um, and I don't want you to get bored. I think you can still see what I'm doing. It's sort of pushing, pulling, clamping, um, tacking. I'm trying to do as little damage. You don't really want to get any dents in it as much as possible. Now, that's got to sort of go back down there. So I've left it down there. I can try and hoist it back up again. See there, again, on the right, as you're looking at it, it's a much better fit there. Could do some deep throated clamps for this. The, um, the clamps aren't quite long enough or deep enough. We've got the, the width but not the depth. Try and put it in from the top, it won't go. And you put it in from the bottom and it's a little bit short as well. So But it's all good fun. Alright, so now we've got to hoist these bits out from around the corner. Try and get them up to fit again in two places. So this is again going to be quite tricky. I'm going to get it to try and fit to the neck first. So I'm just trying to get it to literally fit the profile of the neck. Work it around that or around there. <coughs> Excuse me. And then once we've got it fitting nicely around the actual neck then try and get the, the cheek to fit. It's going to be quite tricky to clean up in there as well, so I don't want to put too much nasty old weld in there. I'll try and get the welds fairly decent because, as I say, it's going to be tricky to get a anything to clean up in there. I might have to use a die grinder because it's 
it's sort of over 90. Yeah, I don't think you'd get a disc in there. So now we've got to try and fill that gap up. This bit here has got to go down to the ear. So we're going to try and knock this cheek in a little bit. And again, I think we're going to need a bit of clamping. Let's pull you up a bit. That there needs to be pulled in both sides. But I'm going to do the other side if I can. Just how I did the first side. Pull it up and actually attach it to the neck. And it doesn't want to go. It's You can see that sort of pushing in rather than actually coming up. I don't think my sides came up very even. It can be quite frustrating this. You know where it's got to go, but it won't go. Now I'm getting right annoyed. We're getting there, but it's still not quite right. What do we need now? I know, another screwdriver, I think. And push it up and out. That's getting it there, I think. Nearly there. Again, I'm going to over bend it outwards to get it to touch the neck right down as far as I can to under the chin. This bit is being really, really stubborn, and my <laughs> screwdriver's had it. <sighs> Another one bites the dust. I think I might have to hammer this with something. Hammering with a knackered screwdriver doesn't really help. Uh, see what we can find. Hang on. Right, got a lump of wood. Getting in through the eye sockets, that didn't work. Well, the wood was rotten, so just using a bit of metal to try and force that out. I'm like, you can see there, I've quite successfully done it. Again, overbend it until it's exactly where you want it. Push it back in, tack it. I'll get a clamp on it there at the top. Right, so that's got the two cheek pieces up there. Now, I'm going to try and get the rest of it in. Although they've they've met, they're at little different different heights. You see, that's the problem with this clamp. I can't get a clamp around there past the ears. So uh, we'll leave that bit for the time being and try and work out where it's actually got to go in relation to the front of the ear. You can see that that ear's got to come out so that that sort of pointy bit attaches 
seamlessly, but I don't know which way around even the piece goes. So just get the other ear out, push that back in. So the ears have got to be twisted. Right, I've um, forgot to put the camera back on, but I've bent this piece, put it in, uh, but it's too bent in the wrong place, basically. Um, so I've tacked it in, but I've, I've got to get it to come up to this piece here. This I don't know if you can see in there. Just that bend there is wrong. It needs to come further up. If I can get the camera to show you exactly what's the problem. I can't really see it. There's a little triangle there. Just there. I uh, can't get it in the right position. This is really awkward, this thing. Right, you might just be able to see it now. That piece there, that little triangle, the ear's got to come up to that, whereas I'd got it bent quite sharply down to it. So I'm going to try and pull it back out, but because I've tacked it all in, I'm going to have to do it with gas. So we'll get it warm and try and pull that up so that it fits flush on that little triangular bit. You can just about see it there now, actually a bit better. Get it warm, grab hold of it and try and pull it up. And because it's all nicely welded around the rest of it, it should come up quite easily. Now you can see there on the left, there's something I was I meant to tell you. What I've found it invaluable. I printed out uh, four or five screenshots from Joshua's original video because I kept thinking what comes next? Where does this bit go? What does that bit do? And printing out a few of the um, screenshots really really helps. Um, so you can just scratch your head, take a look at the drawing and think oh yeah that bit's got to go there, that's got to go there. I would really recommend you do that um, because it will help it really will it saves you having to keep going back to the video which is what I was doing originally I was I kept stopping what I was doing getting my iPad out looking at the video trying to stop at the right spot so it was much easier to go home and print it out off the desktop right now you can see well you probably can't because I can't seem to get this in the right place Oh, I'm getting frustrated a little bit today. Um, but basically, I'm just pulling that back up. I'm trying to twist this. I don't quite know where this... The back of the ear's got to go, to be honest. Because that bit there, at the back, sort of nearest the neck, that bit I'm on, concentrating on now, has somehow got to come a little bit further down but then there's another piece to go in the back of the ear again so the ear is actually sort of made out of three pieces so I'm just trying to get it where it should have been in the first place and so had I done one of these I'd know that and I would have got it right the next time round which is what I'm hoping will happen on the next ear Alright, this is the other bit that's got to go in. It's got to go in the back there. Whichever way it goes. Somehow like that. I don't know. <laughs> Who knows? So, the bit I've just... There we go. Come up a bit. The bit I've just warmed up, this front bit, has got to come to my... or your left now. And the other bit's got to go to the right slightly. And then somehow that bit's got to go in and attach to both of them. So I'm going to scratch my head. I think I'm going to have another cup of tea because I'm really getting quite frustrated at the moment. I'm another cup of tea. Look at the drawings, all these screenshots. Let's see if I can figure it out because I'm really struggling.
Right, I've had a cup of tea, I've scratched around, and I think I've got it sussed. I've had to almost weld the whole ear up because there was a few gaps, but it's the only way I could get it to, to work. I will hopefully be able to show you better on the next ear, now I've done this one. Um, the only problem is, it looks like an Arab because the top of the ear is turning inwards, like some of those old Arabs. Anyway, it's done. Uh, it sort of looks like an ear. Obviously, it'd be once we grind it all up, it'll look a lot better. So I'm going to call it a day for now because I've had enough. I'm tired and frustrated. I've got that bit done. I'm going to go home and sleep on it. And hopefully, in part three, we'll get the rest of the ear done, or the ears done. We'll get the nostrils done which are, where's the bits, down here somewhere, amongst the rubbish, there we go, those two little bits there, have somehow got to be bent, again, no idea, to go in there, and make the nostril, or finish the nostril off. So that's for part three, then it'll be the final welding up completely, grinding up, and hopefully we'll have a finished product. There you go. Thanks for watching part two. Keep your eyes out for part three.